Rosenberger has developed a compact hand crimping toolkit for the quick replacement of damaged Rosenberger HFM connectors on the cable harness. The case contains four hand crimping pliers with various tool attachments. Details. Tool 1 is for cutting and stripping of the insulation and cable jacket. Tool 2 is for crimping the support sleeve and cutting the inner conductor. Tool 3 is for crimping the inner and outer conductors of female contacts. Tool 4 is for crimping the inner and outer conductors of male contacts. This video demonstrates the assembly of a female contact. The assembly of the male contact is carried out in the same way. Step 1. Cut off the damaged connector with tool 1. To do this, insert the cable into the side of tool 1, close the pliers and cut the wire to length. The connector should be positioned as close as possible to the plier head in order to retain as much cable as possible. Step 1b. Additionally, for waterproof connectors. For waterproof connectors, the cap and the cable seal, including the secondary fuse, must be pushed onto the cut cable first. Step 2. Stripping the cable jacket with tool 1 and 3. Tool 1 is used to partially strip the cable jacket. The cut cable is inserted into the middle opening of the tool, as far as it will go. Close the pliers and cut the cable jacket. The cable is then moved up and down in the closed tool, so that the jacket is easily cut. The cable jacket is then pulled back about 6 mm until a small gap is visible. Using the gauge in tool 3, the jacket cut can then be increased to the correct length. Step 3. Crimping the support sleeve with tool 2. First, push down the spring-loaded cable centering button and insert the support sleeve into the gap, with the opening facing upwards. Make sure that the separator is facing the end of the cable. Then release the cable centering device to fix the sleeve in place. The cable is then inserted and pushed in until the jacket touches the spring-loaded cable fixing. Now close the tool. Crimping the support sleeve onto the cable, the zero cut of the conductor is made at the same time. Step 4. Fold over the braided shield and shorten the inner conductor using tool 2. The rest of the cable jacket can now be removed. Fold the exposed shield over the support sleeve, making sure that all of the shielding is lying on the support sleeve. There must be no single strands in the contact area. The conductor is then inserted into the hole on the back of tool 2 until the support sleeve makes contact. Now close the tool, shortening the inner conductor to size. Step 5. Cut foil and strip inner conductor with tool 1. With the movable stop pin in the out position, insert the conductor into the opening of tool 1 as far as it will go. Press down on the blade until it engages. Then turn the stripping device several times to cut into the foil. Now pull the blade release to open it and press the movable stop pin in the direction of the tool to push the cable out. Any remaining insulation can be removed with a thin stick through the integrated hole. Now remove the cut foil from the inner conductor. To strip the inner conductor, insert the cable into the right-hand opening of the tool and close it. Then turn the cable slightly and pull it straight out of the closed tool. Step 6. Crimping inner conductor and outer conductor. Female connectors with tool 3. Male connectors with tool 4. The tool should be open 
and the distance plate in the upper position. To position the contact, press the bolt of the inner conductor holder as far as it will go. Then insert the inner conductor with the opening facing upwards. Attention! Please note that the tool must not be closed, otherwise the connector holder will be damaged. Now release the bolt and ensure that the connector holder springs back into its original position. Carefully press the distance plate downwards. Then insert the prepared cable until it touches the distance plate and close the tool. Next, open the tool again and insert the outer conductor into the positioner with the opening facing upwards. Push the cable with the crimped inner conductor into the connector until the pin on the back of the positioner visibly extends. Close the tool and open it again to remove the crimped cable assembly. Step 7. Fitting the standard plastic housing. Insert the pre-assembled connector into the standard plastic housing until it clicks into place. Then press in the magenta coloured secondary fuse until it clicks into place. Step 7B. Alternatively for waterproof connectors. Insert the pre-assembled connector into the waterproof plastic housing. Next, push the cable seal, including the secondary fuse, into the housing. Then slide the cap onto the housing in the correct orientation until it locks into place.